Hey, what's up everyone? It's Theo Petridis here. Uh, today I'm going to do a Cavant Club Max 3000 with the FB4 internal overview. Um, I had some people asking on Facebook to kind of go over it and tell me what I think about it. So that's what today's video is about. Um, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so when you first purchase a Cavant laser projector, the Club Max models, this is the case that it comes in um, is a hard plastic case that is there to protect your expensive equipment. Um, so if we go ahead and open it up here, you see we've got some eggshell foam there to protect the top of the Kavant laser projectors. Each of the laser projector comes with a power con, power cable, um, Ethernet cable in the corner over there, as well as the cables for the emergency stop uh, to connect to the laser projector, the emergency stop itself, as well as the terminator and keys that come with it. Um, one thing I really like about these cases is the uh, foam here. Um, you'll notice it's not a pick and pluck foam like you get with most other manufacturers. Uh, this is a precisely cut foam to fit all of your gear, cables, and the projector itself. Um, this is nice because it easily slips in and out of the case and you don't have to worry um, about the pick and pluck foam getting all over the place and getting torn. Um, so this is one added addition I like uh, when you purchase a Cavant Club Max model. This is the Cavant Club Max 3000 with FB4 internal uh, laser projector out of its case. Um, over go over a couple things here uh, you'll notice all the caution stickers right away uh, this is a Cavant kind of norm um, so that way people are ensuring that they stay safe and um, when using high-powered lasers um, you also notice the metal housing here is a black housing it's got a couple different designs on it um, this is a nice added feature uh, you'll notice the Scanners up front, these are the Compact 506 scanners from Pangolin. Uh, these scanners are uh, great scanners. They run very cool and very fast. Um, they are typically scanning one and a half times wider than typical uh, laser projectors on the market. This means you can project more complex images, um, create more beam paths and so forth. Uh, you can do a lot with these scanners and not have to worry about them breaking or failing. Um, they also have got a variety of uh, safety features that you can add on to there, like pass. Um, you also have the uh, safety shutter in there. You can't quite see it um, as well to protect any stray beams from going into the audience. Uh, you also have your masking plate here. Um, this is kind of built behind the housing here so it's a little more uh, compact there. Um, along the side here we have our yoke for attaching the truss and so forth. Uh, we have these knobs here. These are kind of a lower profile knobs um, that you get when you purchase the new Club Max models with FB4. Uh, a lot of the other manufacturers out there sell kind of like a canner levered lever. Um, the advantage here is that sometimes the having this lower profile knob here uh, is better because in the cantilevered one sometimes when you put them in their cases or you're carrying them or they hit, accidentally hit something they'll break off and then it becomes very hard to tighten them. Um, you also have your a plate here. Um, this is for adjusting the dichroics and aligning the laser beams. All of these housings are pretty sturdy, they're IP54 rated, and you generally don't have to worry about aligning the lasers that often. In fact, I've never actually done that before, so that's a plus. You always have uh, good housing and maintained beam alignment there, but there is the option for that. On the back here, uh, we have the back panel of the laser projector. Notice it comes with all the different connections here. Uh, you've got your signal, DMX, Ethernet, uh, ILDA option here, your key 
um, for turning on the laser projector, uh, your interlock, power con in and out, safety, safety eye, power switch, and so forth. Um, and then you have the star of the show here. This is the FB4 internal. Um, this is nice because it comes ready with uh, quick show, or if you have beyond, you can run your laser uh, directly from here. You don't need any more controllers or FB3s. They're all directly integrated into the laser projector. Uh, so this is very nice. Um, yeah, so as I mentioned, there's the other side of the laser projector. Um, one last thing here that I really think is a cool feature are these mounting options. Um, you can mount different uh, lenses and so forth, like the safety scan lens or the disco scan lens, uh, which I will show in another video uh, displaying how to put those on and how easy it is to set that stuff up. Uh, so Kavant makes it very easy to um, add extra lenses and so forth on the end there. Um, I know Kavant recently did a beam expander option with their OPSL laser projectors, um, so that's pretty cool as well. But that's kind of just a quick overview of the model itself. Uh, these lasers are meant to last you a long time, and you'll notice too here, um, you'll notice this is a 3 watt laser projector, but they specified as a 3.5 watt. Um, that's because they kind of add more into their laser projectors so that you're getting the guaranteed output of 3 watts. Um, I know a lot of other manufacturers tend to kind of short ball you, if you will, on the laser diodes and the amount of power you're actually getting out of your laser projectors. So these are guaranteed 3 watts. Um, this is also applicable to all their other models as well. So that's the laser projector here, the Kavant Club Max 3000 FB4 internal. Um, now we're going to go and set one up. So right now I'm holding my phone, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up uh, with just one hand here. Alright guys, so here are two of the Kavant Club Max 3000 uh, with FB4 internal here. Um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, hook these up right out of the box. So got our power cable that we have here. Gonna go ahead and plug that in. Um, we have Ethernet. This plugs directly into my laptop. Um, gonna put the terminator in here as well as put the key in. Um, and then turn it on. And now that laser projector is ready to go. I have a uh, hybrid cable here that I use for daisy chaining the laser projectors. Uh, makes it easier to connect them, especially when you're hanging them on truss and so forth. Alright, let's go ahead and plug that in. Now we're going to come over to the other laser projector and do the same. Got our signal. Um, and lastly, terminator there. And okay. So now that we got that all set up, which I did in under a minute, I'm also holding my phone in one hand so you can see how easy this really is um, to set them up. So I'm going to turn on the laser projectors and I'm going to go back to Beyond and show you guys some cues and kind of give you an overview of what they can display. Alright guys, so we're back at my computer here, um, running beyond. Um, all these cues and stuff that you see here come with the uh, uh, laser projectors when you purchase them, so no need to make your own content. content. There's plenty of content already available. Um, we have the projectors over there. I'm going to go ahead and just click on a cue here, for example. Um, and you'll see over there, we've got our display, um, two laser projectors, one on each side. Um, go ahead and click on a different cue here, for example. So 
got your projection over there. Uh, these are very, very bright, especially when you're projecting on um, light surfaces like white or yellow or beige. Um, you can easily see already the quality in the projection in terms of the colors, although it's kind of hard to see on a camera. It doesn't do it much justice, but you kind of get the idea here. Um, right now I'm scanning at like 30%, so in just like a four foot throw distance you get a pretty big projection and this isn't even as big as the projectors will go uh, in terms of the size of the image. Um, so there's another projector. There's another cue there. Again, a lot of different options that you got here. Bring down the brightness a little, see if that helps. Um, one thing I really like with the projectors is the added color balance buttons on the back here. So if you take a look here, there's a little button right there called color balance. If you press it, um, you'll notice the picture on the left became more yellow versus the color image on the right is more orange. Um, these color balance buttons on the projectors when they're enabled uh, allow you to match the colors across all the laser projectors so you get a nice balanced color output across all of them. Uh, I know I'm pretty picky about the way my image is, especially in my beams and atmospheric shows that I primarily do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this is something I'm very picky about, so that is a good added feature, and you don't have to worry about sitting in a software and trying to color correct them all the time. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a quick overview of the laser projectors here, the Club Max 3000 FB4 internal. Uh, if I were to recommend this to a friend, I totally would, um, and I'm definitely looking to purchase more uh, in the future. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me, Theo Petridas, um, on Facebook or YouTube or whichever. Um, be happy to answer any of your questions. Hope you guys found this informative, and I hope this was good to anybody that's looking to purchase another laser projector or is looking to purchase um, a new laser projector. So, thanks. Bye.